Hey guys, so surprise. So I decided we might as well go ahead and try to finish this up since we are on like the very last little bit. And I checked the walkthrough again. And figured out what I'm missing. So, you know that antique key that Wade dropped? Right outside the door of Charlotte's room? Apparently, I was a little off on where we had to put So, here we go. Let's see if we can finish this off. Bubble. Low gain. Where are there tunnels? So. Okay, so. So we need to, there's apparently, aha! Okay, so if you notice, all the clocks have to be 12, only this one, let's see, so what you have to do, is you have to change, The times. I don't remember the times though. Okay, so that's what it already is. So ten, eight, eleven, ten, and eleven. What is it? Hold on. Ten, eight, eleven. Mm 
Now, if we did this right, the clock or maybe not. Well, it said ten, right? Sorry about this, guys. I thought I had it. Eight. Hold on. Eleven. Hopefully this works. Oh god damn it. Sorry guys. Understand. Let's try this again. Oh, not a ten. Ten. Eleven. Fingers crossed, guys. Hope this works. Yes!
to figure out the right combination. Okay. So we go. Boop. 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 Then you go. Boop. 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 Got it. This must be what Jessalyn was looking for. Apparently not. Get that. Get that. Yep, sorry guys. So, apparently, I love how it's like, do this, do this. necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. Um oh, here we go. I found the locket. Here. can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. Okay, so the note. This is the one she's talking about. It says, Mom, 1867 and right. Alright. That's done. Check that. I don't know. That's done. Oh, yep. Okay. So apparently there's nothing else we can do. Check. Check. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember. Okay. We're going to save the game here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Uh, let's do luck it. Okay. So what we have to do is Imagine that each of these little doodads is part of the code. So, like, mom starts with M. Oh, no, wait. Mom equals Mar Mariana. In 1867, Hiram was born. And Mila's last name was right. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. So, hang on. There's a way of doing it. I'm just going to do the solution just because... Okay, so using the label duck as reference from Mariana, then Hiram, then Emil. Big names. So M. A. R.
I A N N Oops, hold up, where's A? A. Okay, so you see two little pieces pieces popped in. Then Hiram which is H I R I A and M then even I have no idea how to say that name. Emily? That's it. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm going to go see her myself. What's it if say? If I can get this working, it should light up the tunnel. Whoa. If Jessalyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast. Harper needs to know the truth. Align the notches, the outside levers, then lock the levers according to the following. So this is another code. So check. I did that. I don't think we could check. Did that. Okay. Get the generator working again. Oh yeah. Right. unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft. Okay. Can't go that way. Let's reset. Okay. Move ball bearing. Right. 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 Down. Down, left, down, 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 right, up, down, left, up, up, right, down. Right, down, 
down, left, 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 up, 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 right, right, right. I don't know why it can't go that way. Not a single clue. Nope. Nope. Not gonna go that way. I'm stuck. Sorry, guys. This is a little annoying. Okay. Right. 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 Down. Down. Left. Down. 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 Down, right, up, down, left, up, up, right, down, right, down, down, left, left, left. Left, up, 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 up. Okay, let's keep looking. Left, left, up, 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 right. Go oh, down. No. Up, 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 right, right, left, left, down, 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 right, right, down, 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 right, 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 up, up, left, left, up, left, left, nope, ah, I have never seen this, up, 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 right, right, left, left, down. Right, down, 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 down. I am totally lost, guys. I apologize. I can't go that way. Okay, let's go down, up. Can we go up? Okay. Try to go up. Oh, we did!
Jerry's going. Get that. Can't remember. Hold on. Go see if I can find. I can't remember where I need to go. Colton! I think it's time I tell you about that thing I forgot. The night of the fire. I was there. I found Charlotte leaving the crypt. She was really upset. I must have said something to her because she came over to me. I could tell she wanted to say something. But it was like someone took her voice. She gave me this big hug and ran off. And she gave me this. I think she wants me to give this to you. I wish I had known what to do that night. I wish I could have saved her. You were just a kid. Yeah, and I acted like a kid and ran away. And I hid. I closed my eyes and wished with all my might that someone would make everything all right again. I never told anyone this. But I think I saw someone else there. The fire wasn't an accident. And now... I'm afraid whoever did it took Jess. Goodbye. Goodbye. I just think it's funny. He, he goes through all this confession. What are you saying? goes through all this confession at the end you're just like goodbye Okay, now, this is kind of the fun part. Dig behind the next symbol in the sequence. I'm going to show you guys what happens if you dig behind the wrong symbol. The first time you play the game and that happens, it's just like, ah! So, the missing symbol. So, M, M, heart, where that is. Clover. I can remember. That's this one? I don't remember. Let's try it. Nope! Mm. 
Okay. Let's keep going. So I am pretty sure... I think it might be this one. Found something. Cool. I hit it safe. But I bet there's a sequence to push these in. That's done. Now, first, line up all of the slats in the tiles with the levers on the outside. So, in other words... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Reset. Okay, so what you gotta do... No, oh, I don't even remember. Hang on. Move the tile in the top row right into the open space. So move that right over there. There's a way of doing it, but. I think we'll try doing it this way. Okay, so reset all. Then move tiles into the open space as possible. Right. Up. Up. Right. Down. Left. Left. Up. Right. Down, left, down, right, right, up, and left. The notches to the outside levers and lock the levers according to the following. So it's one. Three. So you gotta pay attention to these, because apparently these mean whatever. So um, in other words, you don't do all the levers. Not even entirely sure, guys. Okay. Alright. So, we push that one in. We push that one. And that one in. Push that one in. That one in. And both of those in. We push that one in. That one. And that one in. And push both of those. That one. That one. That one. 
that one. That one. And yes. If this is what Clara was trying to keep hidden, I think she's the one who started the fire that night. So I, Charlotte Ann Thornton, resident of the county of Cheatham, state of Georgia, do hereby declare this to be a codicil to my last will and testament, dated April 16, 1988. I change said will in the following manner. I revoke section 3A of my will pertaining to the distribution of my estate. I give, devise, and bequeath to Clara Olivia Thornton, a resident of the county of Chatham, state of Georgia, 100% of my estate property and respects. In place of this revoked provision, I substitute the following. I give, devise, and bequeath to Harper Shelby Thornton, a resident of the county of Chatham, state of Georgia, 100% of my estate property and respects. In all other respects, I confirm my will dated April 16, 1988. In witness whereof I have here Lou set my hand. So she signed it. And two other people signed it. So. Yeah. Fire? Oh, I better get out of here. That's done. Can I go this way? Oh, I can't. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. I bet we could build something to get her out. I could use this to build a makeshift beacon. Okay, so what you gotta do... Grab that. I forget what else. I think you grab something there. Just hang on. Hang on, people. I forget what else I need. Okay, there's something. I'm forgetting something, and I don't know what it is. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. Yes. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. Okay, I cannot remember where. Ah! There we go. And there's another wheel. I just cannot remember for the life of me where it is. There's another wheel. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. Ah. I don't remember. Okay, so I can't do that yet. Hang on, there's got to be something. Ah, I cannot remember. I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. 
I agreed to help. I better not leave yet. Seriously, I cannot remember where. Ah, here's the other thing. Upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I don't care if it's dangerous. I will get her out. Haven't I suffered enough for you? Why would you leave me alone? I need you to calm down and come with me. Time's been reset. Okay, I did this once. I can do it again. I'm sorry for what happened. That's done. Okay. I sat at your grave every night for a year. It's right there. Gee, duh. Okay, let's see if I remember this. See, this is why I hate. I do not remember. Yeah, I don't have time to do that.
Okay, 11, 9, 3, 10, 3, 10, and 8. So 11, 9, 3, 8. Ten and Yes, it worked! Just in time. Come on. I'm getting you out of here. Just let me stay. I deserve it. You deserve the chance to pay for your mistakes. Now, come on! She's stubborn. Warehouse. Dear Ned, I was able to pull Clara out of the fire just in time. We rushed out the front door before the stairs collapsed. Imagine my relief when I saw that Jessalyn and Harper had made it out safely as well. Clara finally told Jessalyn the truth, and about how sure she was that she'd be pushed out of the family entirely when she discovered Charlotte had changed her will. How jealous and powerless she felt the night she lit the match. How badly she wanted to scare Charlotte. How quickly the fire got out of control. And how heartbroken she was at Charlotte's death. She would have given anything to take that night back. Jessalyn later said that was the first time she saw the real Clara. It wasn't a cold-blooded killer. Just a woman so dedicated to hiding from her past. She lost herself. The fire department traced the source of the blaze back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. Doctor, I saw, explained that carbon monoxide from Harper's furnace may be the cause of some of the unexplained things I saw around the house. No, she Apparently, said so. many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. In the weeks that passed, Jessalyn began to take control of the family company. She's offered Wade a position on the board and tasked him with keeping an eye on the day-to-day -day operations of the company's labor force. I imagine he'll take her up on the offer once he's back from a trip to visit a certain former ghost hunter. Yeah. I called to tell me she's invited Wade to come out for a visit. Mm -hmm. I was a bit annoyed when I found out what Savannah hadn't told me about this case. But I have to admit, I'm really hoping things work out for those two. Colton and Jocelyn seem like they're on the road to patching up their friendship. They both seemed mutually relieved to dissolve the engagement. Colton has a lot to iron out with his parents and his relationship with Lexi, but he seems determined to do things on his own terms. Harper disappeared shortly after the fire. 
After an exhaustive search, Wade and Jessalyn tracked Harper down and convinced her to rejoin the family. Years of Clara's manipulation left her a bit suspicious of the offer at first, but she finally agreed, provided she could completely raise Thornton Hall, and in its place build a public park dedicated to the memory of the lives lost on Black Rock Island. Jessalyn loved the idea and considered it the first meaningful step toward building a company and a family that would have made Charlotte proud. If you ever find yourself visiting Black Rock Island, the creepiest thing you're likely to encounter is Harper enjoying a good book next to the tombstone that bears her name. And maybe those trees, but it's not their fault they look like that. As for me, I'm looking forward to good old non-haunted River Heights. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. All right, so we got a quiz. Ooh, this is a tough one. How many coffins were in the crypt? Let's see, there were three, six. Twelve. Nope. And this is all the awards you could win. Eerie epitaphs, which is, you, you go to the... Graves, historian. Oh, yes. There's apparently like two secondary endings you can get to that game. That one is if you decide to save everybody. The other game, the other two are if you just you decide not to save Harper, and if you decide not to save Clara. Ghost Hunter, which is listening to Wade's creepy noises. Spooks galore for barely, so that's for, you know, seeking out, um, what's her name? Cotton Jenner. I don't know why I didn't win that one. I forget what that one's about. Brewmaster, that's if you have several cups of tea egged is the easter eggs oh and the easter eggs what you want to do is um there's a third easter egg and i can't remember where it is but if you put all three easter eggs into that little container in charlotte's room you apparently get an invitation from the ghosts to stay with them not exactly sure how that works. Oh, and that's if you keep playing with the bottles. Spoiler free, which means you go through it without looking at the tasks or anything. And key spinner, which is basically if you fiddle with the, with the part of the key in Charlotte's door. Before you do anything else. Oh, here we go. What time is it? This is such a cool. This is such a cool trailer. That is one of the most awesome trailers ever. And Silent Spy was a pretty good game too. But I did like that twist. I like how they made it very twisty turny. But 
so we miss some stuff in the game. There's a there's a couple things I think you're supposed to do toward the end that we didn't get a chance to do. And that's okay. That happens sometimes. But like once you discover like I think you're supposed to once you discover that um that you can look through that painting in the parlor. You can overhear a conversation between Clara and Colton's either mom or dad. I'm not entirely sure. We never get to hear if it's a male or a female. But, yeah, you, you hear the two of them talking about their plans, you know, and basically reaffirming what Jesslyn said about the fact that they were they were basically forced into marriage and that, you know, they bought off Lexi. And I like this because this is like the drawings. Oh yeah, and these are cool. These are kind of like your outtakes and stuff. Oh yeah, and this is that conversation. There are so many creepy things in this Why game so that I just love. Wine. Mm. You had seven thoughts about the wedding, didn't you? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone knows. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. Night so black, fire so orange. Dear sweet Charlotte, please, uh, hmm, door hinge, more fringe, some more fringe, hmm, mortgage? Oh, no. Ghost assistance required in the creepy old tools department. <sighs> yep, so that's it, guys. It's Goose of Thornton Hall. And like I said, I think we missed certain parts. But it's a little, it's a lot of fun. It's a really good game if you want to be kind of spooked out, but at the same time, 
it's like, I don't know. But I love it about Nancy Drew, especially the haunted games, is that there's always kind of a possibility that it's not just the explanation, like message in the haunted mansion. You know, you end up figuring, figuring out that there's a logical explanation for most of what you what you see in here. But then there's a couple things that you just kind of like. Wait a minute. You know how did that? You know. Same thing with this one. And there was a thing that Jessalyn did with sicking Charlotte on on you, and it's like, well, wait a minute. It's interesting because I think, you know, that the whole family, I think they probably grew up believing in the ghosts, but what I find interesting is you know, according to logical explanation there, it's like, and I assume that none of them were actually living in the house. That was just basically Jocelyn and Addison thought that would be kind of a fun thing to do. To go to the house and, you know, have like a ghost hunt or whatever. Which is fine. And that brings up another thing. Why didn't as why didn't Jocelyn try to contact Addison and be like she's okay? Or why couldn't Nancy contact Addison and say, I found Jocelyn, she's okay, I can't really explain what happened explain what's going on, but She's okay. She'll get in touch with you. Promise, you know. Because, I mean, she was her best friend. She was probably going to be like the maid of honor at her wedding or whatever. Anyway, so, I mean, I like it because it sticks with the story for the most part. And then, but there's certain things that you just kind of like, huh, you know? Anyway, but there were a few things that we did not get done, especially toward the end. Because there's part where you're supposed to go through that tunnel. You're supposed to look at that. You're supposed to look through that painting. And I think there's like two different things that can happen. You know, the hear, overhearing the conversation with Clara and one of Colton's parents. And then there's supposed to be a part where Charlotte flies at you like she does in the game over scenes. I still don't know what that's supposed to be, if it's just supposed to be, which is why I say, okay, so, oh, so was that really a ghost, or was that, you know, or was it just simply you know, if you see something like that flying at you, you might have a heart attack and die or pass out or whatever. What I couldn't understand is why more people weren't figuring that out. Why more people weren't figuring out that it had to be... Because this is a creepy old house, you keep in mind. And I mean, like, you have to kind of think, especially, you know, the fact that Harper was hanging out in the basement and burning that furnace for who knows how long, you had to kind of think about the reason that it was like, why, why is nobody noticing how warm it is in the house, you know? Because I would imagine that furnace would keep things nice and toasty. Although maybe it only kept the cellar nice and toasty. Maybe. I 
don't 100% know. And the other thing that always kind of made me wonder is why Jessalyn was hanging out was hanging out in that jar why she was locked in that one room. I mean, I understand if you don't want to be found. But until Nancy found that found that note, found that button, I mean, yeah, she could get out through the through the grate in the in the crypt. But still, I don't know, that just seems like an awful mess, especially if Jessalyn ever took her turn at dressing up as Charlotte, which is basically what happened, is Harper and Charlotte took their turns in dressing up as, dressing up as Charlotte and going around trying to get Claire to confess. I did like how they, how they implemented the singing, because that let Nancy know after her first encounter with Harper, that let Nancy know that. I also like that they didn't spell it out. That they didn't come out and say, you know, that Harper didn't come out and say, Oh, by the way, I'm dressing up as, you know, me and Jessalyn are dressing up as Charlotte in order to, you know, scare Claire into confessing. Which, I have to say this about Claire, she had balls. She had balls of steel. Because if I were responsible for ac accidentally setting the house on fire because I was afraid of getting thrown out of the family or out of the will or whatever. Oh my gosh, I would have been like, I would have crumpled. Like, used tissue. I would have been like, okay, it was me, I did it, I'm sorry, you know? I mean, she held in there until the very end. It took her being... In Charlotte's bedroom, yelling at you know a ghost to be like, finally be like, you know, just let me die. I deserve it. And I love how Nancy got tough with her. She's like, no, you deserve the right. You deserve to pay for what she, the mistakes you made. So get over here, you know. But, yeah, there's there's a lot of things, and I have to admit, I haven't done either of the other endings just because I don't think I could ever do that. I don't think I could ever make, I don't think I could ever not save somebody. Maybe I could. I don't know. I don't know. One of these days, I might have to try it just to see... What it is, but I honestly don't think I could do it. I think I would be like, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that was Ghost Floor and Hall, Nancy Drew. And, um, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for any other games you want me to play, let me know. Um, not sure what I'm gonna play next. Honestly, don't know. Um, so I guess leave me comments. Let me know which. Let me know what you'd like me to try. If it's a new game, I can't play a whole ton of PC games on my laptop because it's a Mac. But I might be even be willing to install the Run Windows on your Mac. Um, computer thingy, thingamajiggy. But yeah, so let me know what you guys want me to do, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll upload it here in a bit.